This world is moving fast, and so is the automobile industry. Electric vehicles are slowly replacing fossil fuel vehicles. It is said that there will not be a single internal combustion engine vehicle on our roads within the next 25 years. But car manufacturers like Merck and Audi are taking their game to the next level. And the new futuristic cars they have announced are proof of that. Hello guys, welcome back to Tesla Innovations. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Mercedes-Benz AVTR and the Audi Skysphere. But before we begin, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out when we make a new upload. Alright, let's jump right in. So first, let's take a look at the Mercedes-Benz AVTR. The German luxury automaker unveiled a unique new concept car, influenced by the 2009 blockbuster sci-fi movie Avatar, and designed with the input of Academy Award-winning director James Cameron at the 2020 Consumer Electrics Show in Las Vegas in January 2020. Mercedes-Benz thinks the future of autonomous driving could look a lot like a 12-year-old movie. Called the Mercedes-Benz Vision AVTR, it is a futuristic concept car that is both sustainable and self-driving. Completely free from emission, the vehicle is powered by a 110 kWh electric motor that produces 469 horsepower and has a range of about 435 miles. Even though it is an electric vehicle, there seems to be no compromise on luxury, as the carmaker has included a number of novel features such as sideways movement, biometric connectivity, and immersive experience. The Vision AVTR doesn't have a traditional steering wheel. The vehicle comes with a multifunctional control element in the center console. Mercedes and Cameron imagine the car's center console would recognize the human driver's heartbeat and breath so man and machine merge into a fully intuitive experience. The driver can lay their hands on the control device, and the interior will come to life thanks to its biometric detection. The company also promises an immersive experience where users can lift their hands and a menu selection will be projected onto the palm. The feature will allow the passenger to choose intuitively between different functions. It can also detect the pulse of the other people in the car. Even though the Vision AVTR's exact technology does not exist, biometrics in cars are real. Hyundai introduced biometric sensors in the Santa Fe SUV in 2018, which could scan a fingerprint to turn on the vehicle and even change the seat position and mirrors to the driver's preferences. Concerning sustainability, the Vision AVTR may theoretically be fueled by graphene-based battery technology. Graphene is the world's strongest material, yet it's also the thinnest and can stretch like rubber, and it was discovered in 2004. Researchers discovered in 2018 that graphene could be used to manufacture batteries that can charge 12 times faster than lithium-ion batteries. However, there is currently no graphene-based automobile battery on the market. Mercedes-Benz also stated that the components used in the AVTR's graphene-based battery would be compostable and fully recyclable, as graphene is biodegradable. The technology also impresses with its extraordinarily quick charging potential using automated, conductive charging technology, in addition to an exponentially high energy density, compared to today's battery systems with up to 1,200 watts per liter. This means that the battery will be fully charged in under 15 minutes. The supercar would have transparent door shells and an interior made of recycled materials and vegan leather, which is already featured in other high-end vehicles like the 2020 Range Rover Evoque and Jaguar I-Pace SUV. Its wheels would glow in response to the movements of nearby beings. This is inspired by the Tree of Souls from the Avatar movie. The back of the car has 33 flaps that affect aerodynamics and communicate with other drivers by changing angle and color to signal accelerating, turning, or braking. Like the rest of the lighting on and in the AVTR, the flaps are also AI-powered. The car would be capable of driving not only forward and backward, but also sideways and diagonally. This detail, too, may become a reality. In 2016, Goodyear unveiled the Eagle 360, a spherical prototype tire that could one day allow autonomous vehicles to drive sideways. The name of the groundbreaking concept vehicle stands not only for the close collaboration in developing the show car with the Avatar team, but also for advanced vehicle transformation. So the AVTR is a futuristic luxury electric car based on Avatar. But we have one more car to go, the Audi Skysphere. 
if the Merc is based on Avatar, the Audi is a Batmobile. Audi has taken the wraps off the first of the three Sphere EV concepts. The Audi SkySphere concept, unveiled during the Monterey Car Week in Pebble Beach, California, gives us a first look at the brand's next-generation design language. The SkySphere is an electric two-door convertible built on Level 4 autonomy principles, which means it can drive without assistance on highways with the necessary infrastructure. The SkySphere is a pure electric vehicle with a long front bonnet reminiscent of classic grand touring cars. A variant of the Horch 853 Roadster built in the late 1930s by one of the four businesses that united to form Auto Union served as a major source of inspiration for the Skysphere's dimensions and proportions. The idea includes a changeable wheelbase, which works by extending the bodywork ahead of the A-pillar to provide two distinct driving experiences. One is a self-driving luxury grand tourer, and the other as a more focused sports vehicle. In its expanded form, the Skysphere is 5,190 millimeters long, rides on massive 23-inch wheels, and weighs roughly 1,800 kilograms. The wheelbase is lowered to 4,940 millimeters in sport driving mode, and the ground clearance is reduced by 10 millimeters for a more engaging driving experience. An expandable section in front of the A-pillar provides the extra length. The electric driving components, including the charger and converter, are stored in the engine bay, while the boot has been designed to accommodate two custom-designed golf bags. Like most bespoke electric cars, the concept features short overhangs and wheels that are pushed as far as possible towards the corners. The car itself has some really dramatic lines throughout, such as those ultra-angular wheel arches giving it a Batmobile look. In order to demonstrate the potential enabled by autonomous vehicles, Audi is prioritizing interior design as a key priority for its Sphere concepts. In the case of the SkySphere, Audi designed a cabin to provide both grand tour levels of comfort in autonomous mode and a more driver-focused experience in sports mode. The interior design is influenced by Art Deco architecture from the 1930s. In autonomous mode, the steering wheel and pedals retract into the dashboard, and the seats are covered in sustainably produced microfiber to provide comfort equivalent to that of the first-class cabin on a plane. The interior trim is made of eucalyptus wood and genuine-looking imitation leather. A modern, touch-sensitive surface that measures 1,415 millimeters broad and 180 millimeters high dominates the dashboard and is used for all car controls and infotainment systems. According to Audi, the Skysphere isn't based on a specific production car platform, but it does show off some of the capabilities of the Volkswagen Group's upcoming SSP architecture. The Skysphere is powered by a 624-horsepower single electric motor mounted on the back axle that directs all of the vehicle's power to the rear wheels. It has 715 newton meters of torque and 0 to 60 in 4 seconds flat. The battery modules are mainly seen behind the cabin in order to optimize the center of gravity, while some are also located in a central tube between the seats. The battery capacity is projected to reach 80 kilowatt hours, providing a potential range of 308 miles. Both ends of the car have double wishbone axles, with a steer-by-wire steering system that allows different ratios and settings to be easily programmed. The Skysphere also includes the most recent generation of Audi's adjustable air suspension system, which employs three independent air chambers and is critical in providing the handling versatility required for both sports and autonomous modes. While Audi insisted that there are currently no production plans for the car, the firm did say a vehicle like the Skysphere concept will become a platform for experiences that expand horizons beyond the mere ride in just a few years. While the Skysphere is officially a concept, the Volkswagen Group's adaptable SSP architecture would allow for a similar GT. The Grand Sphere concept, which previews the upcoming Landjet A8 successor, will be presented in September at the Munich Motor Show. Meanwhile, Audi's Urban Sphere concept, which will be unveiled in 2022, will preview an autonomous SUV that will most likely be produced as part of the company's New Era product lineup. So the bottom line is that the comparison between these two cars is not ideal at the moment because they have not even reached their production stage. While the Mercedes-Benz AVTR has a more futuristic design, concept, and technologies, 
The Audi Skysphere is a performance beast that can provide the experience of both a self-driving luxury GT and a sports car. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. If you ever get a chance to buy one of these two cars, which one will it be? Let us know in the comments. See you all in the next video.